Hello everybody, I'm Corey Lipkins Jr., Mr. Corey, and I'm back from my second online theater class. Today, we are going to do a little bit of improvisation. Improv. Um, we don't have a script. We simply have a topic. We have an issue that we want to address. Um, and what we have to do is play off of each other. We being, I have Khalil, my little cousin here. He's a new actor. He's never been on stage before, um, but has some natural talent. So the idea is you tell a complete story with a beginning, a middle, and an end. It's cohesive, it makes sense, and a big rule of acting, um, especially in film, is conflict in every scene. So something we should remember is if I am going to reprimand him in the scene, if, I, if I'm playing his father, which I will be, then he can't instantly say, oh dad, I'm so sorry, you're right, it'll never happen again. He has to push back a little bit. He has to give me some conflict. He has to smack his teeth or say, but dad, or, you know, it can't just be in theater. We don't just go along. You know, a lot of people go along to get along. In theater, you butt heads. You collide. You conflict. You battle it out. And you tell a story. You can reach a solution, but the solution should not come in the first few minutes. So, we're going to see what we can do. Um, I'm excited. It'll be fun. We're both a little nervous, but it'll be cool. Khalil, do you have any questions? Do you have any comments? You ready to get started? Let's go. So Khalil is getting into costume. He's getting ready for his role. Um, Khalil, what this is called, what you're about to do is silent acting. So you're not going to say anything, but you need to really bring to life the fact that you're coming home from school. You want to watch TV. You've had a long day. You just, you know, got done talking to your friends, whatever. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Stay safe, wash your hands, put on sanitizer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you had your mask on, I know. No. Where's your mask? I don't know. Every time outside of this house, it's on. How, how many times have we had this conversation? This virus is killing people. Touching them. Wiping them right out. Leaving them with nothing. It's tearing up families. It's, uh, shutting down immune systems. It's ruining lives. Close. And something as simple as pulling this up over your mouth and your nose can help to keep you safe can help to keep me safe. Sanitize your hands. Wash your hands. And so on. Does that not uh, concern you? Does that not matter to you? Is that not important to you? That you're busy, yo, oh, I'm too cool for that. I want everybody to see me. But you don't think about your own health and the health of your father who has... Hug anybody. Don't touch anybody. Uh, close. Compromised. 
It was just school. Immune system. I just went to school. Oh. Went to school where there are hundreds and hundreds of people and millions and millions of germs. Go get the thermometer. I'm going to take your temperature. Okay, your temperature is fine. No fever. Don't see any signs of any virus. You lose this mask. Mm -hmm. And you and I are going to go toe to toe. Every time you are outside of this house, you put this on. Come home, sanitize it. Put it on again. Sanitize your hands. Wash your hands with soap and water. Don't hug anybody. Don't touch anybody. Don't even stand too close. Is that clear? Yeah. Don't you lose this mask. It could save your life. Okay. Um, that was our short scene um, that involved our father scolding his son for coming home without a mask um, in the middle of an epidemic. Um, in the middle of things starting to get serious. Um, so we hope you enjoyed it. We hope you took something from it. Um, I'm very proud of the work that Khalil did as that was his first time ever acting. Um, and that was improv, no script, very little direction. Um, so that was good. Theater, whether you write a script, whether you improvise it, whether it's five minutes or 50, for five hours. It needs to tell a story, it needs to inspire, entertain, and it needs to inform. You need to inform people of what's going on, of what actions to take, of the things that, you know, you give them a call to action. You need to inspire folks, you know, make people do better. And you need to entertain them, make them smile, make them laugh, give them chills. Um, but just create a piece of art because all theater is definitely art. Um, Khalil, can you just quickly, well not quickly, but tell us what was that experience like for you? It was all right, except the parts that um, I didn't know when to respond to him. It was tough keeping, my, keeping a straight face and not laughing. Okay, so not knowing when to respond and keeping a straight face. And that's always difficult. A lot of actors, um, well, a lot of directors will lead the actors and teachers will lead the actors um, to know that a lot of acting is reacting. Somebody might say a whole monologue and you might just have one line to react with. You might just have one facial expression to react with. You might just have one shrug of the shoulders or one nod to react with. But that reaction helps create that scene. It helps create that feeling. It helps create that moment. If you just stood there like a statue, I'd have nothing to work off of. If I stood there like a statue, you'd have nothing to walk up, work off of. If you didn't respond to me when I said, that, hey, uh, did you wear your mask? What do I have to work off of? I don't. I can't yell at you if I didn't know you don't have a mask. And we have to go back and forth, push, pull, push, pull, um, play off of each other, and tell a story. All theater should inform, inspire, and entertain. It should, you know, help accomplish social change. It should awaken people's minds to certain issues. Um, it can make you laugh, it can make you cry, it should give you chills, it should make you feel some type of way, it should make you change something, or proclaim something, um, it should make you feel something, at the very least. Um, so hopefully that was helpful. Um, what other comments do you have about what went on? 
he my cousin though, but in that situation it kind of felt like he actually was like my dad but um and i was getting in trouble for not wearing the mask okay and uh um I don't know how to say it, but it just sounded weird. But, um, like, like, yeah, he really did kind of seem like my dad. Yeah, that sounded weird, but. Um, so it just was, it was, it, you felt sub a realistic vibe. And that's what acting should become. Um, and I'm, I'm glad that I said that's what acting should become. Because acting shouldn't just be acting, it shouldn't just be pretending. It shouldn't just be make believe. You should become that character. He became my son and I became his dad, even though it's my second cousin, my favorite cousin, you know, one of my very favorite cousins, baby. And in this scene, he was mine. He was my responsibility. Um, and he could get himself or me sick. Um, and he could put the whole house at risk. And I had to scold him about that. And I had to be the head of that house to say, if you come out of this mask again, you're going to respond to me. Um, even though, you know, he might hear me on a regular basis say, hey, Khalil, make some Kool-Aid. Or why you eat all the cookies? <laughs> you know, it's my little cousin. You know, he's doing this for a frappe. So it's, it is a challenge, especially me. I'm a goofy guy. It's a challenge for him to look at me with a straight face and be like, oh, this is my father. Even though I'm that crazy cousin, um, who just, you know, likes to have a good time, but also knows the world of theater well. Um, so I thank you for taking that uh, risk and for trusting me enough to do it and to take the little bit of direction and to improv and to take it seriously. Um, I, if you enjoyed it and if that's something that you're interested in at all, I it think, huh? It could be a hobby. It could be a hobby. It could be a trade. It could be a part of your career. It could be something you just do, like you said, as a hobby for fun. But I say that to say, if it is something you'd like to do as a hobby, you'll be very good at it. So you need to think about doing more with me and any other theater that will have you. Um, so that was fun. Um, and I hope the message still came across too, that we all need to keep protecting ourselves. We need to stay safe. Um, we do need to practice social distancing um, the best that we can. We need to wear our mask. We need to sanitize. We need to wash our hands. We need to stay six feet away from people, especially uh, strangers and people outside of your home. Um, you gotta take this seriously because it's 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 destroying people. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed, you know, the best that you could what we put together, um, and you took something from it. And I hope it was an enriching experience for you, Khalil. You play, you're athletic. You like the video games. You are a good writer. I've seen, um, but you've never acted before. But you, you were like, okay, you said, you're going to give me my frat pay for real? <laughs> All right, well, let's do it. Um, and you're, you're quite the natural. Um, so I look forward to us performing together again. Um, oh, and by the way, this is Latoya's son, um, my student in my last class. Um, so it must run in the blood. <laughs> All right, any final comments? He said, I don't know how y'all do it. It's difficult, but it but, takes uh, practice and time and commitment and confidence. But what? Stay safe and keep the mask on. He said, stay safe and keep the mask Put him up. on. And we're out.
sheep, we are the same responsibility. There ain't nothing better. We'll do it together. We'll play it. 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 We